Is it nap time for you? Welcome to today's episode of Zula Altered and previously I styled 30 looks with 10 different pieces and today's video is going to be a variation of that. So this morning I went into my closet and I dug out all my basic and stable items that I own and I'm going to style it in a multitude of outfits for you guys today. And the colours that I kind of chose for the pieces are very neutral, so black, white, denim as well as cream colours. And uh, yes, I did bring a very big luggage to this shoot because there's multiple, multiple clothes that I own. So hopefully you guys will have similar pieces that you own to what I have styled in this lookbook and maybe it'll give you some inspiration on how to pair them in the future. And with that said, uh, I will just jump right into my future self doing the voiceover on how I style each piece. So goodbye! The first outfit is what everyone will probably start the video off with, a white t-shirt and denim jeans combo. A scene from my colleagues SJ and Zane who literally walked into the office this morning wearing this alongside three other people who I mean I did not feature but yeah you get the picture. An easy change up from this will be adding a blazer over top to make the casual outfit instantly look like you put more thought into it. And the subtle pinstripe detail on the blazer is what makes it more appropriate for casual wear. I call the third look my if COVID-19 didn't exist, I'd be on a plane to Jeju Island in South Korea. It's another take on the white top and jeans combo but I went for a button up loose fitting shirt instead. So got the I woke up like this feels okay. You've probably seen me wear different variations of this outfit before so I just grabbed my bicycle shorts and any oversized t-shirt for it, coupled it with heavy duty boots and it turns a sporty look into something more street. And of course, must take the outfit for the gram, right? So to make yourself look like a fashion blogger on their off day, throw on a blazer, add a cap on your head so it doesn't feel empty and you are good to go. So reusing the same shirt from the previous look, I swapped out the biker shorts for black straight leg pants. Pants like this, easily a must-have in your closet and you don't have to worry about feeling uncomfortable in tight black jeans. I complemented it with chunky brick-like shoes and a shoulder bag doubled as a fanny pack across my chest. Black cargo-like shorts slash bums is something I've been seen in a lot lately. It's an alternative to the usual black denim high waisted shorts that probably every girl owns. The different grey tones help give the outfit depth instead of everything being potentially black. Wow, the LBD. The one I'm wearing has a rouging and textured details plus a low back. So I started with a black bucket hat and a high cut chucks to make the look more grunge instead of classy. A simple layering trick I did is wearing a cream knit top under the black dress. I opted for a backpack and I've instantly transformed myself into some semblance of a high school student. Cue this random, not really thought out walking transition but okay, moving on. I tried to make it look cool by wearing my $3 cyclist glasses from Decathlon. I added a small sling pouch in white to match the monochrome vibes but also to contrast and make the all black pop. <laughs> so, this is my fisherman friend's outfit and I swapped the tracksuit jacket for the vest with mesh detailing and a white bucket hat. I also have another title for this vibe I'm emitting aka what I would wear to pull out Ubin but also maybe can wear it on a fucking hot day in Singapore. Accurate? I think so. <laughs> On the other spectrum of weather, I picked an oversized cream pullover and tucked it into a semi-formal black ruffled mini skirt. The slouchy fit combined with this very feminine fitted skirt and casual tote bag equals instant anime schoolgirl aesthetic. If wearing a hoodie is too hot for your liking, I picked a thin white t-shirt with a creepy painting on it to tuck into the skirt. I also added a belt to cinch the waist. And maybe this would be a running errands ensemble, but not actually. Also no, I don't know what the words on my shirt means. I am... sorry? Not really. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, Ariga, thanks gozai much to this skirt and hello super duper comfy flare pants. This screams a cafe study date with lo-fi music on a rainy day. But of course, if you want to be even more cozy, a knitted cardigan would work well with it. The all beige neutral, slouchy fits and overall comfort vibes makes this look equivalent to me pretending I'm a K-pop idol catching a flight at 9am in the morning to LA for a concert. But JK just in my dreams. By switching out my outerwear and shoes, I've turned look 15 from fashionable hobo to look 16 smart casual. I went for the classic black blazer again and black sneakers to give structure to the light flowy pieces underneath. Oh my god, this outfit is my favourite because I feel like I just gave birth to a mix of a soft boy and a skater boy. Previously, I paired the hoodie with a skirt and it was leaning towards the kawaii side, not gonna lie. This is a much more ladylike version of the white t-shirt and denim jeans outfit that I wore at the start. So I chose a cami top with frills for cuteness and a soft cardigan and sandals for the I'm not trying that hard overall aura. 
And last on this list of 1001 outfit changes, but actually only 19, is an outfit I would like to call the producer outfit. This is something I naturally pick out when I'm on shoots because 1. You look cool. 2. Easy to move around in. 3. Producer life. Basic AF lah, okay? Okay, so that's all for the lookbook. Let me know in the comments down below which outfit was your favourite. And also, what else do you want me to start on next time? Do you want a colourful lookbook? Do you want a summer? Do you want an autumn? Do you want a winter? Tell me below and I will see whether I can do it for you. And also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye! See you all next time!